buddy. Mike Brown back with you one more time with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. We're down to playing around with stuff and showing you some things that are left after learning all your basic tools and techniques on just creating some cool stuff. Some of it can be done with one button, some of that you've got to think a little bit, and there are a lot of options for stuff that you can play with and come up with your own creations by multiplying and putting all sorts of things together. We're going to look at the filter gallery, a look at effects, and just kind of talk a little bit about manually doing stuff versus one click. Let's start right off the bat with the filter gallery. And let's take this image right here. I've duplicated the background so that we at least can have the things apply directly to that up to the filter menu. Now, here are all of the available filters under this list. You notice we've used the high pass filter many times. Blur filters are over here. And all of our artistic brush strokes, distorts, all of these are listed here, but they're also under the filter gallery. And right now you can see that we have one that came in right off the bat. Here's our image under the texturization. Here's one called mosaic tiles. And you can turn it on and now we can see what we've got. We can adjust the tile size, larger, smaller, all sorts of things that you can do. And here are all of the ones available under here. Again, in the list, we have these with a little, let's see what the texturizer does here. We have canvas, let's scale it up a little. Let's actually scale it down. Let's see why we're not getting any. Ah, oh, there's our canvas. Scaling and relief. Ooh, we don't want that much relief. There you go. There's one way to turn your image into a canvas. Let's go from the top right on the lighting, change it a little bit, and let's take a look at that. Let's click OK. And there's your image with a texturized layer. Now, if that's too much, the reason that we uh, duplicated it, take your opacity and just pull it back some, because the one below it doesn't have it. And there you have a canvas for your image, a picture on canvas. Kind of cool. Let's go ahead and delete that layer, duplicate a new one. Let's go back to the filter gallery again and see what we've got. Let's try clack, crack allure and see what that does instead. Wow, that's interesting. Take the crack depth then, crack brightness, crack spacing. We need brightness to be higher. Just giving you the idea of what these are and that you can play with them as much as you want. That's kind of an interesting effect. I like that. Uh, it's a little dark, but we could change the exposure. And let's go up to stylize. That one is only going to use the sketch. These are all in black and white. We'll turn off the crack allure right now. And let's go with... By the way, this is always going to work in your foreground color. So the foreground color is black right now. Let's go with bar relief and see what that does on this image. Turn it on. And there we've got pretty much of a 3D effect. Let's go with smoothness, see if that changes anything. Don't like that. I like it. How about top right lighting again and see what happens here. Now we're going to show you some an interesting thing we can do with this one. Let's back it out. There we go. Okay. Now we've got that one. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now we have a layer that has it. You see it's the underlying one. 